and I'm GASOLINE! Chosen was first introduced back in Karate Kid 2. Similar to Johnny back in Karate Kid 1, Chosen would mainly torment Daniel, however, Chosen had a different aspect to him. That being honor. As a child, Chosen was once a kid who would cheat and just take the easy way out. However, he was taught by Sato that honor is what defines a man, and a man without honor isn't a man at all. Chosen would eventually be shaped into the person he was in Karate Kid 2, who mainly fought for honor and believed Daniel was disrespecting it. However, it's revealed to Chosen that Daniel actually has honor himself, and even is capable of saving a child from a typhoon, which does enrage him, and this would then lead into him and Daniel fighting to the death who despite never fighting to kill before, Daniel never gave up and eventually defeated Chosen. And that is what Chosen found honor in. And the fact that Daniel had the opportunity to kill Chosen but didn't, it comes crashing to Chosen's brain that Daniel himself actually has more honor than he'll ever have. After the events of Karate Kid 2, it was implied Kumiko helped him get back on his feet and even found out that he had feelings for her. However, this might have just happened pre-Karate Kid 2 since we know that they grew up with each other. And even after the events of Karate Kid 2, he never made a move on her because of what she and Daniel had, plus he could never forgive himself for what he did to her. He legit threw her life on the line just to get a fight with Daniel that he lost. If anyone should have her, it's anyone but him. However, he managed to find peace with himself and learn the secrets of Miyagi-Do. He learned techniques such as the pressure points and it's implied he learned other things, but it's just not talked about or shown. Which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. We also learn thanks to season 5 that he has learned other styles such as Kim Son Young's. And Chosen managed to find clarity similarly to that of Johnny, Mike, and Terry. However, in my opinion, he did it the best out of all four of them. And I don't mean he had the best comeback out of all of them. That's not what I mean. That goes to Johnny, clearly. But what I mean is, is after the fight with Daniel, Chosen managed to find clarity in his passion, which is something that Terry didn't do, rather he avoided it, and Mike found a passion in a different way. And it took Johnny a long time for karate to even come back to mind. Rather, it was something that genuinely guided him through his life, and it was the only thing that he found passion in. We'd see Daniel travel to Okinawa in Season 3 where Chosen makes his introduction to Cobra Kai, and right as Daniel believes Chosen is going after him and he prepares to defend himself, it's revealed that Chosen is rather kind and is even insisting on getting drinks for him, showing a lot of respect towards him. As we know, he'd show Daniel the secrets about Miyagi-Do, and he'd show him it isn't all just about defense, teaching him the same technique that would go on to prove pretty useful in the fight against Kreese. Sadly, it isn't until the end of Season 4 where we see Chosen again due to Daniel calling him down to take on Terry Silver. And as Chosen said himself, and I am gasoline. No, seriously. Chosen gives Daniel a legit fighting chance against Silver, sabotaging him getting new senseis and even getting pretty close to being his right hand man before getting caught. We see how he has no problem just going down and beating Silver himself like Johnny, but is told by Daniel to be more cautious. While this goes down, we get a lot of scenes of just Chosen adapting to where he's currently at since it's very different from Okinawa. He legit assaults Mike Barnes and his co-workers because he thought he was attacking Daniel, is training in Daniel's pool butt ass naked and is constantly being held by a leash because of how dangerous he is and it's hilarious. Chosen as well is revealed to deep down have a thing for Kumiko and even sends her a voice message saying he'd wish she went along with him to America. This had technically been hinted at since Karate Kid 2 as we know they've been friends since they were younger like how I said earlier and you might be able to just interpret Chosen having a little bit of jealousy behind his actions which kind of reminds me of someone. Speaking of, I have to talk about his and Johnny's interactions because not only do they both find balance in a way because of their fights with Daniel, we see how they make fun of him, but still respect him. Even going as far as to drop a sensei of Cobra Kai due to Terry harming Daniel. These two are so similar, their chemistry on screen is the best we've seen between any character, and this is by far my favorite duo in all of Cobra Kai. This is me and Pop Tato for real. However, I will say Chosen is at his best whenever he's interacting with Silver, as they both have found clarity in karate, but it's clear one found honor and one didn't. And both characters believe they have been never better mentally. However, Terry has got it all wrong for himself. Chosen seeing Terry as a man with no honor and trying to hurt his friend Daniel doesn't take it lightly and drops one of his senseis and then even goes on to combat him in the finale. With Johnny and Mike Barnes on his back! He even manages to defeat Terry Silver and only loses due to having his back turned. Regardless though, he is the undisputed MVP of season 5. He's a bit of both Johnny and Daniel, but has that honor that defines his character as a standout. And I hope you guys enjoyed me analyzing one of the best redeemed characters in the Karate Kid universe. And he also bagged Johnny and Danny's girl, bro!